Hi guys, how's it going? So maybe you've purchased an Oculus Quest 2 or you're thinking about purchasing one, but having to use a Facebook account really makes you a little bit uneasy. So let me give you some tips and tricks and the best practices as to how to use the Oculus Quest 2 using a Facebook account so you no longer have to worry about these kind of things anymore. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va and welcome back to VR Essentials. If it's your first time to the channel, a big welcome to you, very nice to meet you. We talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and a big welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Of course, always awesome to have you among us and thank you for your continued support. So today's video is all about the best practices so that whilst you're using Oculus Quest 2, you don't really need to worry so much anymore about having to log in using a Facebook account. But before I do, there are other videos which you may want to go and check out, which I've uploaded recently, which touch on this issue about privacy and what it really means to use the Oculus Quest 2 whilst you're logged in with a Facebook account. So first, let's start with the easy stuff that's not going to take you that much time to do. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you choose an image of your avatar that doesn't show a picture of you because by default, Facebook can actually recognize you in any images and video that may have been posted by you or posted by someone else regardless if they tagged you or they didn't tag you. Then make sure that you don't put your real last name as your last name in your Facebook account. Use either acronyms or letters or whatever it might be. Just, you know, and also for your first name, try to shorten your first name if you can because the platform can basically track your first name and your last name in other various different social networks or apps that you might be using whilst logged in using a Facebook account. The other thing that you want to going to do that's pretty important that it won't take too long is go into your about section of your page and make sure that you remove any descriptions whatsoever on every single tab. This includes the overview, the work and education, places you've lived, contact and basic info and anything else. And then inside of privacy in your activity, who can see your future posts, make sure to enable friends only and who can see the people, pages and lists you follow, make sure to enable only me. And then make sure that you put who can see your friend list as well as who can look you up using your email address or look you up using your phone number. Make sure you put that to only me. And also, do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link your profile? Make sure that you put no, otherwise all your activity will be searchable on, for example, Google or other forms of browsers. Remember to enable the notification bell after you hit subscribe so you don't get to miss any future other videos that I may upload to the channel. Now moving down to face recognition, you need to know that Facebook by default, as I mentioned, can recognize your face in any video or images that have been uploaded to the platform by yourself or by other people. So make sure that you go into this section and click no so that the platform can no longer have the ability to search for you. Or to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure they can still identify you, but at least you have the option to put no. Now make sure that inside of profile and tag and tab, everything is either enabled to only you or that you have the ability to basically review any tagging things of any kind, including reviewing posts you're tagged in before the post appears on your profile and also reviewing tags that people add to your post before the tags appear on Facebook. Now make sure to disable the location tab so that the algorithm basically no longer has the ability to show you or suggest to you any single post whatsoever based on where you might be in the world at that time and point. Make sure that in the stories tab for the sharing options that you enable both don't allow options. Okay, now let's talk about the two most important things you really need to do first before you launch your Oculus Quest 2 logging in with a Facebook account. But by the way, there might also be some other videos which I uploaded quite recently, which you may feel add value to you, which you can go and check out after watching this video. So the first thing that you need to do that is really important is go inside of the notifications tab. Scroll one by one to all the different sections, including comments, tags, reminders, more activity about you, updates from friends, friends requests, people you may know and all the other tabs and make sure as much as possible that you actually click on off, me only or disallow. Now there are two reasons as to why you're going to want to do this. First of all, it has been proven by the scientific community that a notification that you receive will create as much as of a dopamine effect in your brain as taking a hard drug. So basically, if you get too many notifications, it's basically like getting so many different shots of dopamine that you potentially can have severe anxiety, depression, and also, you know, 
other pretty drastic things. The other reason is that when you switch off your notifications, basically the algorithm is no longer going to go and try and search for things to notify you of, which basically means it's another way to kill off the algorithm of tracking your activity. And finally, we've come to the most important tip so that you can basically use your Oculus Quest 2 with a Facebook login without any worries of any kind. And remember to join the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you hit subscribe and never get to miss another video which we upload frequently to the channel. Now, of course, you could just not use Facebook whatsoever, just create an account, add a few friends so that the platform thinks that you're a real person, but basically never use it, never log on to it other than when you're on your Oculus app. But if you are someone who uses Facebook quite regularly or you use it from time to time and you're just worried about using Facebook when you log into your Oculus Quest, well, the most important tip that I could personally give you, which I've basically experimented on, is basically go back to your newsfeed and scroll down on all the various different feeds and for every single feed, one by one, click on the three little dots which is on the top right hand side of every single feed and make sure that you click on unfollow. Now when you unfollow someone, it doesn't unfriend them so you can still go and find them in your friends list. What it does do, and this is what's really cool about it, is it will stop from showing any news whatsoever that they may have typed or uploaded in a group or on their newsfeed directly in your own personal newsfeed. Equally, if you don't want to be swayed by any ads that pop up towards you, make sure to go to every single post and click on hide, add, or unfollow this sponsor or whatever it might be to make sure that you'll never get to see them again and make sure that when they ask you why, just put irrelevant or harassment or whatever it might be that you feel is the reason as to why you want to hide this post. Now, as a bonus tip, make sure that you go to the apps and websites tab and remove any third party app that is not associated with Facebook that you have logged in using your Facebook account.